Every image is a new discovery and each will give humanity a view of the universe that we've never seen before. This telescope is one of humanity's great engineering achievements. From rogue planets emitting strange radio signals to ancient star clusters that could rewrite the history of our universe, these are some of the most incredible discoveries made by the James Webb Telescope. Did the James Webb Telescope spot an unnatural object out in space? Well, just back in September of this year, there was this wave of excitement online as a rumor spread that the James Webb Telescope had spotted a large moving object about 10 light years away from Earth, possibly an alien spaceship. Now, according to various posts, this mysterious object exhibited an unnatural change in trajectory, leading many to wonder if this was some sort of alien craft or a piece of technology. There were also claims that members of Congress were being briefed about this discovery by the National Security Agency and the US Department of Defense. The details of this briefing were said to be kept under wraps from the public, of course. As this story started circulating, UFO enthusiasts joined the conversation. On September 21st, US Rep Andre Carson, who had previously led a congressional hearing on unidentified aerial phenomena, was asked, about the JWST briefing, but me had no comment, which of course just got people even more curious than before. NASA hasn't released any information about detecting this mysterious object, but could they be covering something up to avoid mass panic? There's also been some recent talk about the James Webb Space Telescope finding signs of life on a distant planet called K218b. But scientists at the University of California, Riverside say the excitement might be a little premature. While we all want to find hard evidence of alien life on a distant planet, at least most of us anyway, it looks like we might have to hold our breaths a little longer. That doesn't mean there isn't interesting news to talk about though. K218b is pretty cool. It's about 120 light years away, a super Earth with eight times the mass of our planet, and it sits in its star's habitable zone. This means it might have water, and where there's water, there very well could be life. The planet also has temperatures that are very similar to Earth's, so that's another good sign. The James Webb also spotted some interesting stuff in its atmosphere, like carbon dioxide and methane. One of the biggest finds was something called dimethyl sulfide or DMS, which is made by tiny ocean plants. The fact that DMS has been detected in the atmosphere means there could very well be life producing it. The scientists are continuing to observe the planet with different tools on the James Webb to get a clearer picture. They believe that if life does exist there, it might show up in ways we don't see here on Earth. So even though this isn't exactly the news and breakthrough we were hoping for, it's still a step in the right direction and our never ending search for life beyond our planet. The James Webb Telescope spotted distant galaxies that aren't supposed to be there. Well, that sounds ominous. These galaxies, visible as tiny reddish dots in the deep field images, are packed with mature red stars and appear to be from a time just 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang. Typically, astronomers expected to find young, small galaxies from the universe's infancy formed shortly after the so-called Dark Ages, when the universe was filled with a thick fog of hydrogen. Instead, JWST's observations showed galaxies that are not just large, but also much older than anticipated. We had specific expectations for the type of galaxies that live in the early universe. They are young and small, said Joel Leja, an assistant professor at Penn State. What's shocking is that some of these galaxies are estimated to be 50 times more massive than previously thought, possibly rivaling the mass of our Milky Way when the universe was only 3% of its current age. This discovery could change everything scientists thought they knew about how galaxies form. A black hole blowtorch. That also sounds pretty ominous. This story just came out under a month ago. Astronomers have spotted a gigantic blowtorch-like jet shooting out from a supermassive black hole, which is causing nearby stars to explode. So space is terrifying. The massive jet stretching 3,000 light years comes from a black hole six and a half billion times the mass of our sun. The energy beam is so powerful that just being near it 
spirit can be catastrophic for cosmic objects. Again, researchers have observed an increase in star systems exploding. We don't know what's going on, but it's just a very exciting finding, said study leader author Alec Lessing from Stanford University. He also said that the discovery points to gaps in our understanding of how black hole jets interact with their surroundings. Typically, supermassive black holes pull in matter, heating it up to emit light billions of times brighter than any star. They can also launch enormous jets of energy that extend throughout galaxies. While astronomers understand that these jets shape galaxy evolution, the specific effects on nearby star systems are mostly unknown. The James Webb Telescope has recently spotted jets of ancient gas shooting out from a distant comet-like object called a centaur. These findings are helping scientists understand how these centaurs formed, what they're made of, and how they eventually form into full-fledged comets. Plus, these centaurs can actually tell us a lot about the formation of the solar system. Centaurs are usually found in the icy Kuiper belt beyond Neptune, but gravitational nudges from Neptune or close encounters with stars can push some of them closer to the sun. There are over 500 known centaurs, but experts think there could be as many as 10 million out there. Sarah Fagey, a postdoctoral researcher at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center states, Centaurs can be considered as some of the leftovers of our planetary system's formation. Because they're kept at very low temperatures, they hold on to important information about the early solar system." End quote. One centaur is called 29P Schwassmann Watchman 1, which spews out gas every six to eight weeks, which I wish was the frequency for me. Nothing like not being able to lift your bed sheets without passing out from the horrific Dutch oven you've been forming all night. Anyway, for a space rock, it's spewing out gas pretty frequently though. The James Webb's near-infrared spectrograph revealed tons of carbon monoxide jets being shot out of it. What's causing these jets is still a mystery. Normally, comets produce jets when the sun heats water ice, causing it to vaporize, but researchers found no water vapor in 29-piece jets because it's just too far away from the sun for that. Sarah Fagey's team suspected that 29P might not be a single object, but rather a collection of smaller pieces stuck together called contact binaries. Geronimo Villanueva from NASA said the fact that Centaur 29P has such dramatic differences in the abundance of CO and CO2 across its surface suggests that 29P may be made of several pieces. These centaurs, along with asteroids and comets, are ancient remnants from the solar system's formation, which means they hold clues about the early days of its formation. The next step is to keep observing 29P to see if the jets change, which could give more insights into its behavior and structure. Scientists have made an exciting discovery about the exoplanet GJ9827D, located in the constellation Pisces, about 98 light years from Earth. This is another super Earth, but this one has been found to have an atmosphere that is saturated with water vapor, with some calling it a steam world, which sounds like a place that would have a lot of mold and fungus and mushrooms, which I guess is all kind of in the same thing. but. You know what I mean. Earlier this year, researchers using data from the Hubble Space Telescope confirmed the presence of water in its atmosphere, making GJ9827D the smallest exoplanet known to have an atmosphere, roughly twice the size of Earth. For years, scientists have focused on studying atmospheres of much larger planets. The lead study author on the project noted, for now, all the planets we've detected that have atmospheres are giant planets, or at best, mini Neptunes. These planets have atmospheres made up of mostly hydrogen, making them more similar to gas giants in the solar system than to terrestrial planets like Earth, which have atmospheres dominated by heavier elements." End quote. Now, what's really cool about this small exoplanet is that its atmosphere is rich in heavier molecules, with a substantial amount of water vapor, so very different from the atmospheres usually seen on larger planets. Now, the surface temperatures on GJ9827D are around 350 degrees Celsius, making it unlikely to support life. But this is still a great step in finding other planets with similar atmospheres to Earth that could be suitable for life. The James Webb recently spotted six planets drifting through space, completely onbound from any star's gravity. They're called rogue planets 
and these six were seen about 960 light years away, ranging from 5 to 10 times the mass of Jupiter. The reason why scientists are so interested in these rogue planets is because it challenges our understanding of how planets form. Traditionally, planets are thought to develop from leftover gas and dust during star formation, but these new findings suggest that massive planets can also form directly from collapsing gas clouds, similar to the way stars are born. Along with the rogue planets, they also detected brown dwarfs, mysterious objects that are larger than planets but smaller than stars. This isn't the first time the JWST has found free-floating planets either. In 2023, it recorded 42 pairs of gas giants known as Jupiter Mass Binary Objects or Jumbos in the Orion Nebula. The researchers are still studying the planets to try and find out exactly how they formed. <laughs> Speaking of Jupiter mass binary objects though, let's talk more about them and the strange radio signals they seem to be giving off. So in 2023, the James Webb Space Telescope identified some rogue planets in the Orion Nebula. Among them, they found a pair of strange entities known as Jupiter mass binary objects. Jumbos. Researchers have found that around 80 of these rogue planets exist in pairs, orbiting each other at distances ranging from 25 to 400 times the distance between Earth and the Sun. The nature of Jumbos is still a mystery. Scientists aren't sure whether they're true planets or something entirely new. Larger than planets, but smaller than brown dwarfs. Researchers have also detected strange radio signals from one of these Jumbo pairs, specifically Jumbo 24. Using archives from the U.S. National Radio Astronomy Observatory, they discovered that Jumbo 24 emitted these steady, powerful radio waves equivalent to the energy release of a quarter of a ton of TNT. The signals are really unusual. Normally when objects like planets have magnetic fields around them, their signals show a certain pattern called circular polarization, but Jumbo 24's signals don't have this pattern. The radio waves don't match the typical signals we see from known cosmic objects like planets or small stars like brown dwarfs. Researchers even thought about whether the signals could be coming from something behind Jumbo 24, but they think that's unlikely. Scientists are still looking into this, but at this point, Jumbo 24 is a mystery. Back in June, the James Webb Telescope uncovered a pair of baby stars known as binary stars, hidden within a previously identified protostar in the WL20 system about 400 light years from Earth. Researchers had been observing this system for decades, focusing on a single protostar that was thought to be surrounded by a large disk of gas and dust. But the recent findings show that this disk might actually be made up of two separate disks. The JWST confirmed the existence of these two young stars, each emitting powerful energy jets parallel to one another. Mary Barsney from the SETI Institute said, quote, What we discovered was absolutely wild. We actually saw that this one star was two stars right next to each other. The two stars are estimated to be between 2 million and 4 million years old, which sounds old, but that's just a tiny fraction compared to the sun's 4.6 billion years. These are baby stars. Researchers believe that the remaining material from the disks around these stars could eventually form into exoplanets. The James Webb Telescope also made groundbreaking discoveries after it spotted a series of star clusters, clusters that could reshape our understanding of the history of the universe itself. Located in the Cosmic Gems arc, these clusters are believed to be among the oldest, forming just 460 million years after the Big Bang. The James Webb allowed scientists to identify five massive and dense star clusters within this arc. The clusters likely emerged during an intense period of star and galaxy formation. Now, unlike ancient star clusters in our Milky Way, though, which have been around for billions of years, these young clusters are giving them insights into the early stages of star formation and, by extension, helping them understand how the universe may have evolved. With all that said, I've been your host, James, and I'll catch you, yes, you specifically, in the next video.